Howdy, it's Uncle Willie. And it is absolutely gorgeous out here today. Doing a little work on my old tractor. Mainly I'm restoring it. And what I got here I want to tell you about today is electrolysis. Nothing fancy. It's a battery charger, a battery, some wire, and uh, a big tank. What this does, you see the bubbles? The bubbles means it's working. Uh, what you're doing here is using a, an electrochemical process. There is Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. Two boxes of it dumped in there. This is a 300 gallon tote. It's just full of water with washing powder in it. You put your, these are sacrificial anodes around the edges. They are going to get eaten up eventually. What they're doing is as the charge goes from the negative here through the water back to the anodes, it takes the rust off with it and the, this, the anode collects the rust. And it will also take most of that paint off of there too. Now a couple things, do not ever do this indoors. This process, those little bubbles you're seeing, it releases hydrogen gas and you don't want that in your house. It will blow you through the roof. Then you got just simply a battery charger that's hooked to a battery. The battery, the positive, goes to your sacrificial anodes here. And you can see it goes to here, to the sacrificial anode. And your negative goes to your workpiece. And if you got a bunch of old sets of jumper cables around, it makes everything fairly handy. You can get as fancy or as simple as you want to with this and this right here works perfect for me this tractor i repainted a couple years ago the the fender pan and the hood and stuff and did this to them and they came out beautiful but uh, for now you can see that's that's what it looks like on the top and tomorrow i'll take it out and turn it over and put it back in uh, and you can see how well the bottom of it comes out uh, but everything in the water is going to be clean with no rust on it and uh that's it. Again, do not do this indoors. If you want to know what hydrogen gas does, look up Hindenburg. Uh, that should be all the explanation you need. Well, simply, I just took a big tote, cut the top off of it, dropped some anodes down in it, filled it up with water, hooked up a battery charger, and we're off to the races. And tomorrow, I'll uh, let you see how it comes out. Now you can see she's really bubbling in there. That's when you know it's got more exposed metal on it. When I get back here in a little bit, I'll pull these out, hit them with a pressure washer, and show you what comes off of them. All right. And here we go. This is the piece I just took out of the tank. You can see right there, this is the piece that was above the water line. My camera's throwing a hissy fit. I don't know if it's working right or not. This is the piece that was above the water line. All this down here was below the water line. You can see it's taking it down to bare metal. Sometimes stickers come off, sometimes they don't. Some of this paint is still on here, yeah, but it's been on here for 30 years, so it's got a pretty good grip on the metal. But I'll clean that up with a wire brush on my electric uh, angle grinder. And all I do when I get them out of the tank, I take my pressure washer here. And just take the loose stuff right off of it. You can see like right there, it's knocking all this stuff out of there. Now I get the other piece out of the tank. You can see here. It's still bubbling because it's still hooked to the battery. But the battery charger is off. Oh! You can see this still got a lot of paint on it. These frame rails are not light. Just so you know, trying to wrestle them one-handed is no fun. All right, you can see here. It's hard to watch what I'm doing and operate the camera at the same time. But you can see some of the paint just doesn't come off. This is not a very strong pressure washer.
And my well pump just kicked in. Huh. And you can see it takes most of the stuff off of it. Again, there's a lot of bare, just bare metal showing here. But there it is. Now here's the one thing about electrolysis. If you look right here, that's already starting to flash rust. No longer than I've had it out of the tank. Um, what I've got to do is dry these off and squirt them with WD-40 to stop the rust. And then I can turn them back over, put the other side, that top end in the tank, and uh, clean the paint off of it. So that's it. And I'm going to get these back in the tank. And now you know how to do electrolysis. This is Uncle Willie, and it's beautiful. And there's my lovely assistant who wasn't out here to assist me, and I'm going to get out of here.